Today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to diagnose a faulty HID. So if you have an HID kit and one of your bulbs doesn't ignite or it says it's burnt out or it's not working, I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the bottom of it. So I have a 55 watt Innovited HID kit that I've been uh, showing you guys for a while here and it has been flawless. I had it on a previous vehicle and then actually a subscriber uh, bought them off me and then I ended up getting them back off that subscriber and then put them on this vehicle and we put like 40,000 miles on this truck and I still haven't had an issue until today. So um, I'll show you guys what's going on. One of them, it kind of just flickers and then goes back out and it doesn't stay illuminated. So I'll show you guys that and then I'll show you guys uh, you know, how to diagnose it and uh, we'll figure out what's wrong. All right, so it is this one that is not working. So if I walk up to the truck and I turn the headlights on, I don't know if I can, only one person here, but if I turn it on, you'll see a flicker on this side and that side will actually illuminate. So see how there's like a little bit of a flicker in the amber for a second? So it's only flickering for just a second, whereas you can see this one is doing what it's supposed to do. So we're getting a flicker, but not full response. So let's go ahead. Pop the hood, I'm gonna pop the headlight out and the grill. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do that, I will link that above so you guys can check out those videos. But let me just get down to the nitty gritty and then we'll get to work. Okay, so headlight is out we got a few components. We've got the bulb obviously inside here and then we've got a few things. Some of this is like kind of provisioning from before when we had alpha, or I should say before we had alpha OBD. So I have a CAN bus decoder, which we actually don't even need now. So we have that, and then we have our ballast, and then going into the bulb. So I would be willing to say it's gonna be either the CAN bus or the ballast, since the bulb is actually flickering. So we are getting you know a little bit of flickering out of the bulb, so I'd be willing to bet it's one of these two, either the ballast or the CAN bus decoder. So let's go ahead. Um, we can actually run it without the decoder, so we might as well try that first. And the nice thing about this is I literally don't know what the issue is you can swap parts from left to right. So you, if you're, you know, you don't have spare parts to test out, you can literally take parts from the other headlight and try them out on the opposite side and kind of just swap parts and see what solves the issue. So here we go. We're gonna plug this in without the CAN bus decoder, see if we have any action. Okay, so here we go. Let's turn the headlight on. I think we still have no action. So yeah, still no bulb. We got the other bulb working. So now let's go ahead and try the ballast. And like I mentioned, you can swap the ballast over from the working side that you have. But since I have so much of this stuff, I don't have to take apart the other one. So I have an extra ballast right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this ballast and see what happens. All right, so you can see here, we got the new ballast. Here's the old dirty one on the ground, but we don't know if that's the culprit just yet. So let's go ahead, fire this up and see. If this doesn't work, we're definitely led to believe it is the bulb inside. There we go, hopefully that's it. No, still no action, you guys. So it is, in fact, gonna be the bulb. One other way we can verify this is, since I have a new bulb, we can go ahead and plug the bulb in. This, I went ahead and plugged in our old ballast again. And now I just plugged in the bulb externally. So these two leads here, we plugged it into a new bulb. So if we go over to the truck and we turn it on, all of a sudden we've got light. So it is in fact the bulb, you guys. So here we are, I got the cover off. I got the bulb out of the headlight. So I'm just gonna swap it out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna change the grommet to do that. So I'll swap it through and we'll put this thing back together. And here we are guys. So the new bulb is in. I've got the canvas decoder back on here, our old dirty ballast. And now if we turn on, we should have some headlight action. So yeah, there we go. We've got a headlight. All right, so everything's back together, you guys. You might notice a difference in color. I'm pretty sure this is a 4300 and that is a 6000. Um, so I'm gonna be you know, replacing them at some point to get them both matched. But the reason why I had a spare bulb is because we were trying different colors or different uh, temperatures at the time. All right, guys, so that is it. That's how you diagnose and figure out what is wrong with your HID system, whether it is a burnt out bulb 
or a HID ballast and you can simply just swap parts over from the opposite side. I happen to have those spare pieces, like I said, because we were doing a bunch of testing, but if you didn't, just pull it from the other side and then you can figure out what is blown so that you can buy another one. So found this helpful or informative, make sure you give a thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more helpful content. We'll catch you guys on the next video.